New introduction here. I want to get everybody's attention for what I feel will be a lucrative opportunity. It's the first ever NYSE marijuana IPO. We're making history here, and I feel this is just the first stepping stone in what is going to be the start of many IPOs on both the NASDAQ and the NYSE. I feel we're going to have a marijuana sector and marijuana ETFs in the future. And this is just step number one. If you are familiar with the industry, that's all I have to say. I know you're interested already. If this is new to you, this is going to be, in my opinion, the greatest financial opportunity in our lifetimes. This has never happened before. We have a an established tens of billions dollar industry that the floodgates are going to open. It's becoming more and more legitimate legally. And this is just step number one. So Innovative Industrial Properties is the the company, the ticker is IIPR. It is a real estate, REIT, that invests in medical marijuana facilities. And for this IPO, we have a new website, www.mjipo.com. I put together an hour of research video going through the filings, researching the company and the executives, and establishing a game plan, looking at some other IPOs and how they have traded. We're going to have a chat room with live Q&A during that day, Tuesday, November 22nd. And we'll also have the live webcam where I'll be showing our charts, going over, pointing out key support and resistance levels, looking at the volume that's coming in. I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. I hope you will join us. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into the charts. Checking in on Facebook, daily, weekly, shorter term time frames. So very similar action Thursday to Friday and yesterday to today, although a bit more bullish today than it was on Friday. But these tech names are still trading very strongly correlated. We see a rejection from SPY from right off that 200-day moving average resistance of 118.54. Apple rejected right from its 100-day moving average resistance on the bounce attempt. So after it held as support for two days, just like Apple's moving average support, it has now lost it and back-tested and rejected. This is an inside candlestick. I'm going to be putting out a video tonight on a little bit of a lesson on what inside candlesticks are. And essentially, it is a tightening range that will give a clear break and if we break 118.49 tomorrow, the high, we know it's likely to be a bullish day. And if we break the low of 115.83, it's likely to be a bearish day. It's a very simple and straightforward, um, a na what am I looking for here? Very simple and straightforward tool to utilize for technical analysis. And you can use it on any time frame. And I'll go into that more in depth later tonight. So looking at the weekly time frame for Facebook, it is a bullish reversal hammer off this must hold 50 week moving average. It has held on every dump for the past couple of years. That level is 115.75. If we close below that level by the end of the day Friday, huge red flag for the bulls. So we held it last week. We're currently holding it this week. If we close here or better by the end of the day Friday, it is a bullish candlestick heading into next week and we will look for the bulls to defend this level and see some upside movement. Checking in on the five minute chart, all these tech names did the same thing. We're come eight a.m. this morning it was a full-on breakout in these tech names then right out of the gate they consolidated back tested their 200 period five minute support and then continued strong to the upside so the red flag for facebook came over here right before 1 p.m eastern because we had our higher low pattern from pre-market right at the open higher low then we started lower highs tightening range and a clear bear break bulls did recover a little bit not a very significant recovery and due to that daily chart with that 200-day moving average resistance, I'm a little bit weary in, as to whether or not the bulls are for real here. So we have this inside candlestick. You can see the hourly time frame. Let's zoom in. And you see the tightening range where we have our low and our high, higher low, lower high. A clear break is coming from this pattern tomorrow. The 20-period hourly moving average will be in play. And I'm pretty much repeating everything that I just said on the Apple video because these setups are pretty much identical. So that just shows you when the volatility and trading range picks up significantly, the algos and computerized trading systems really kick in and they lock the correlation of these names very strongly linked together. So we'll see Facebook tomorrow, see how it plays out with this inside candlestick. Check out that video when I am done it later tonight. I appreciate you watching and hope you have a great night.